if you can find a mentor, speed forward faster for you to landing your first job as a software engineer. In today's video, I am going to give you all the tips that I know from my past experience to help you to find a tech mentor. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Victoria. I am a software engineer living in New York City. Step number one is you gotta look around people around you and different opportunities within your organization. I know that for some companies, there is going to be a lot of internal mentorship program. So I would say if you do have that, make sure that you take advantage of that. And if you don't know if there's any mentorship opportunity that is offering in your organization, make sure that during one on one with your boss, point that out and ask the round because you'll be surprised to find that there might be a lot of opportunities and chances for you. The most important part is self-awareness. You want to make sure that you know who you want to become. You know who you inspire to be and then you seek out and find ways to become that best version of yourself. The second part which is super embarrassing and I think a lot of people just awkwardly ask that question. Do you want to be my mentor will you be my mentor is one of those questions that you don't really ask them when you reach out it does not naturally flow that way if you are involving in an internal mentorship program within your company then yes you would probably already expect that person to be your mentor but in general just a normal human interaction you don't want to just reach out to someone and be like hey can you be my mentor Think about how in relationships when people pop up the question, do you want to be my boyfriend or girlfriend? It just doesn't sound natural. What sounds more reasonable is actually asking those people for a cup of coffee. Don't try to feel or think that you are entitled be just because you're paying for that person a cup of coffee, you own their time. Be super respectful and appreciative of their time and be aware that you know they are spending their precious time in you and they're investing their time in you by the way if you are getting values from this video smash that like button i heard that it's really good for algorithm i don't know it really does anything but i would greatly appreciate it if you hit that like button down here last but not the least is to take the lead. You want to take the lead on reaching out and setting up a regular one-on-one -on -one with that person that you inspire to become. And I would say one of the quickest and biggest factor on someone that is still showing appreciation to you is when you have your questions written down and ready every time when you had a coffee chat with that person. I will give you a few of those questions that you wanted to ask your mentor. Usually you wanted to ask them, how did you get into coding? What excites you the most? What's your background? Just be a very genuine listener in the beginning of the relationships that you're building with this person. You don't want it to be, this is what I need from you. You want to be more of a genuine listener and trying to get to know your mentor. Spoiler, you never ask them to be your mentor. Eventually, they will just become your mentor. It's a two-way relationship. Like you put in your time and effort to try to invest in this person and this person reciprocate and over time, that person becomes your mentor. From time to time, I would say that you do want to send them cards and tell them that you appreciate them. And I would expect that in the future, you want to do the same thing for the people who are reaching out to you. Hey, so by the way, since I am talking about mentorship, I do have a one-on-one -on -one that are open up to chat with anyone who wanted to have a deeper conversations with me, particularly that is tailored to your situation. 
That being said, everything else on this channel is completely free. I am not holding back by any means. I am giving out all the information that I ever know for you for free. But if you do want it to require more time for me, then it's just better for me to manage my time and your time.